So what four Uber analysts expect from today's second quarter earnings report, remember that comes out today on Thursday. Um, all I know, if you look at that second quarter, um, 70, 80% of the business, the ride share business was gone, right? On the Uber Eats site, however, um, that's the sort of the logo they're touting there. Uh, they did extremely well. It went up big time. So Uber is scheduled to report second quarter figures today on Thursday, revealing whether it is surging. Eats business can offset a slowdown in ride share activity. The company is also set to update investors on its July acquisition of food delivery firm Postmates. Analysts largely expect Uber Eats to double over the quarter, and the company's performance largely hinges on how well its ride share unit held up with the prolonged pandemic. Um, here's what four Wall Street analysts expect when Uber announces its quarterly figures. Okay, so this is what Wall Street people um, look at, the numbers and that. But if you have been involved with the company for as many years as I have or other people that report on that and follow them, um, I think you've got to take way more into consideration than just, you know, Uber Eats and Rideshare. But you've got to, you've got to look at how many lawsuits are they involved in. California Labor filed another one yesterday. I mean, they, they, they're being sued everywhere. They're even being sued by their former executive for $4 billion. So um, the outlook, I don't think, looks pretty rosy. Um, the second quarter numbers can't be great. 80% um, evaporated. Many of those passengers have moved on, right, to their own cars, to private vehicles, because ride share is just too dangerous. But it's really, really dried up. So all they have really going for themselves, that's why they try to get Grubhub. That's why they did not want to lose out on Postmates. They needed a boost in food deliveries. Um, Uber is set to announce the second quarter figures today and offer insights into how its ride and food delivery business fared um, throughout a COVID pandemic. The company issued several updates throughout the quarter revealing a slowdown in its ride share business yet just as ride revenue weakened uber eats business rapidly expanded amid continued stay-at-home activity analysts are split on which units uh, performance will outweigh the other yet nearly all agree that uber eats remains an area of interest moving forward uh, the ride share giant announced its takeover of food delivery postmates in early july snagging more market share in the booming sector, a commentary around how the deal will bolster eats will closely be watched. Uh, Uber posted a $2.9 billion loss in the first quarter as the pandemic first cut into the ride activity. The loss was greater than analysts' expectations. My guess the second one is even going to be even larger. Yet shares traded slightly higher following the announcement um, after executives said a recovery was kicking off. Um, now, Bank of America, the biggest positives are eats, demands, uptick, and share gains. The team of analysts led by Justin Post expects Uber ride share business to fall below Wall Street estimates. Booking sank 60%, wake up, it's actually 80% a year over year uh, amid continued quarantines and resurgent in virus cases. Even if ride count recovered through the month, the analysts see Ride pricing as a second headwind against the segment. Uh, segment uh, Price in key markets are down as much as 15% year over year. Demand for Uber Eats and the company's market share growth will impress but ultimately fail to drive an earnings win, the team said. Bank of America's credit and debit card shows online restaurants spending up 124% year over year through the quarter and 139% in July alone. The analysts see Uber Eats outpacing my main rival Grubhub and possibly snagging a greater share of the food delivery market. Um, Near-term biggest positives are Eats demands. Uh, Bank of America expects Uber to miss the consensus analyst estimates for quarterly revenue and losses. I agree with that. Wedbush, a long road ahead. I would also agree with that statement. Uber will fall to meet Wall Street's expectations for revenue and losses, 
over the quarter, but look into the EAT segment for hints at future success, the team led by Dan Eve said. Profits continue to be squeezed by the competitive environment as several players fight for surge of new customers. Stay-at-home activity remains a massive drag on Uber's rideshare unit. Uh, it's a long road ahead for the gig economy, the team wrote. The overall environment is starting to improve. The report won't be all doom and gloom. According to Wedbush, the firm is bullish on Uber's Eats business and expects it to double in size. Um, JP Morgan, recovery has slowed, stalled, or reversed. Even as investor sentiment towards rideshare firms remains cautious, Uber is the industry winner. JP Morgan says, um, and trends driving its success are likely sustainable, according to the bank. Still, the team matched the aforementioned firms, calls for a below par quarter. Uber's rideshare unit continues to recover slowly. We believe that after weeks of rideshare volume improvements into early June, recovery has slowed, stalled, or reversed. The firm seems Uber sees Uber barely beating estimates for quarterly revenue and losses as each success outweighs rideshare sluggish rebound. JP Morgan rates Uber shares overweight with a price target of 36. Uh, can accord genuity. Uber has done a good job staying in front of investors. Uh, okay, I'm not quite of the same opinion, but all right. The rideshare giants updates throughout the pandemic played an important role in keeping investors on board. Analysts led by Michael Graham said the company has done a good job at staying in front of investors. I would say an extremely poor job to stay in front of drivers. And that communication may blunt a disappointing quarter, they added. Canaco Genuity sees a slump in ride share activity offsetting its growth by a sizable margin. Investors should watch out for any updates to the virus impact on ride share and its growth, as well as ride share trends in the recovering Asian and European markets. The team wrote, any commentary regarding the Postmates deal and its impact on EATS will also be important, according to the firm. Canaco Genuity reiterated it's a buy rating for Uber with a price target of 48. I would think more 36 or lower. Your thoughts? I'd love to hear your feedback on this. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you, and I wish you a fantastic day.